Blackpink's Jennie is the highest K-pop soloist. On the 2023 Entertainment Industry Power People list by industry professionals. The 2023 Entertainment Industry Power People conducted a survey with 200 industry professionals, including those from entertainment companies, broadcasting companies, film and television industry content producers, and entertainment reporters to more accurately name the people. Most powerful in fields ranging from singers, entertainers, and actors to producers who have made significant contributions in their respective domains. While Jenny as a solo artist was also recognized for her contributions to the industry, ruling as the highest K-pop soloist on the list, ranking at number four with 10 votes. Jenny also made history by being the only soloist of this decade to appear on the entertainment industry power people list into different years 2021 and 2023. First place, BTS 35 votes. Second place, Lim Young Moon 30 votes. Third place, New Jeans 19 votes. Fourth place, Representative Min Hee Jin 10 votes. Dex 10 votes, Jenny 10 votes. Seventh place, Blackpink 9 votes. Eighth place, Yu Jae Seok 6 votes. Chairman Bang Si Yuk 6 votes. Hyori Lee 6 votes. Writer Kim Yoon As Suk 6 votes. Lim Ji Yi in 6 votes. Thirteenth place, Song Hai Kyo. Sun Siak Go, Go Yun Jang, Han So He. Kian 80 for 4 votes each. In addition, BTSV, Group IF, Monster, also. Due to the popularity of the 16th season of I Am Solo, the cast of I Am Solo and Sang Chil of the 16th season of I Am Solo also received an unexpected vote each, attracting attention. Am Yung Hua says she regrets turning down the offer. To appear on We Got Married as an on screen couple with Bang Si Hyuk. On November 13, a teaser video for the 22nd episode of Such We A Time to Drink with Suga was uploaded on the Banked and a YouTube channel. Although the guest's face was covered in the teaser, it was obvious that the next guest on SUGS talk show is Am Yung Hua. In the teaser, Am Yung Hua is seen comfortably greeting Suga and says, Nice to meet you. Can I speak comfortably? To which Suga responds, Yes, of course. Feel free to do whatever you want here. Then Am Yung Hua reveals she debuted in 1993, which was the year Suga was born. She shared stories of promoting back in the day when Suga asked, I heard one of your promotions went on. For six months, she explained, when I released Poison, it was at no, one for three months. Straight. Suga also brought up an interesting story and shared. I heard some interesting news, that you almost went on We Got Married. Am Yung Hua then explained that she had almost become an on-screen couple with Bang Si Hyuk. She explained, it was the first time I met Bang Si Hyuk. I regret it so much now, I should have done it. If I did, maybe I would be a part of this company now. Adding to the intrigue. We Got Married was a popular NBC reality TV show. That first aired in 2008. The show's unique concept involved pairing up Korean celebrities to show what life would be like. If they were married, each couple were assigned a scenario and tasks to complete, simulating the everyday experiences of a married couple. The show blended elements of reality and scripted scenarios, providing viewers with both entertainment and insight into the personal dynamics between the stars. We Got Married had gained significant attention both in South Korea and internationally for its innovative format. And the chemistry between its celebrity couples, the show ended in 2017. K-netizens engage in heated discussion. Over G-Dragon's latest exclusive interview with Yonhap News TV. G-Dragon revealed he decided to appear in the interview to prove his innocence and clarify any misinformation circulating about him. He explained, I had a lot of concerns about deciding to do the interview myself. But I decided to gather my courage to show the public my innocence and deliver the truth. When asked if he had used drugs, G-Dragon firmly responded, I did not. G-Dragon was also confident that the comprehensive drug test would return negative, just as his preliminary drug tests. Since he had not done drugs, he stated, once again, I have never used drugs nor have I ever given or received drugs from anyone, 
so if any substances were detected in my body, it would be impossible. Netizens commented, the one I adore, Quan Ji Yang. Always humble and courteous, he even worried if he might be hindering the police. I hope you'll be happy for a lifetime, Quan Ji Yang. I may be sad and in pain, but you should always be joyful and happy. It pains me more to think that G Dragon might now censor and set higher standards for himself when speaking or acting. Now, he has to fix not only his speech but also his behavior and habits. It's truly a disgusting world. Spoke everything so clean and nicely. He must have been so sad about all this. Fighting G Dragon. He's speaking slowing because he feels a sense of responsibility for every word he speaks. So, stop saying his brain got weak and this and that. So, he has connection to the doctor who provided drugs. Was false. Behavior suspicious of drug influence was false. Sufficient evidence was false. Even though he voluntarily appeared at the station, articles used words like summon. This was a separate case from Lee sung -yun. But they keep reporting this together. They make a controversy over his attitude when he voluntarily appeared. He volunteered to hand in hair. But falsely reports that he removed all his body hairs. How can we trust the media now? I still think G Dragon is amazing in many ways. It would be crazy if his comprehensive test comes back positive after he does all this. It seems like things will get better for G Dragon in the future. This opportunity has actually garnered even more supporters for him. G Dragon is indeed the top celebrity in our country. You can tell by how the attention and controversies are quickly drawn to him. He wouldn't be able to do this interview if he was still with YG. K netizens are heartbroken. After watching Suli's posthumous Netflix documentary Dear Jinri. Dear Jinri is a poignant documentary that delicately delves into the life and psyche of Choi Jinri Suli as an individual. Suli laid bare her struggles and confessed, since I was young. I felt confined by the word beautiful, whenever people would say you're beautiful. I wondered why they were saying that to me. I was curious about what thoughts led them to call me beautiful. It felt like I was expected to only engage in pretty behavior. And if I didn't appear delicate or like a pretty child, I would get in trouble. When asked the question, do you consider idols as laborers? She pondered for a while and answered, yes, and further explained. It seems like everyone doesn't think of entertainers as human beings. When I started my career as an entertainer, there was a prevalent narrative I heard the most. At that time, I didn't realize how strange it was. It was, you are a product, and you must exist as the best. Top tier product for people, even if people didn't explicitly say I was a product. Everyone treated me as one. I had to move according to their tastes, and I had to fear that my product value might decrease. 